Hello friends, um, welcome back to all of you on your favorite channel that is JE Physics Maniac. I could not upload videos for a couple of days because of some medical emergency going in my home. So once it is all settled, uh, I am restarting once again on full throttle. So as we know in our channel, we don't do teaching only. There are many aspects. Uh, we narrate stories and I try always to keep you on your toes by some inspiring lines. So today we are going to narrate a beautiful uh, a story about a legendary mathematician that is Bernard Riemann. So uh, Riemann was very unfortunate actually. Uh, unfortunate because I am saying that the major work of the famous general theory of relativity was done by him you know, much before Einstein could materialize it. But uh, he could not connect the mathematical aspect with the uh, physics or the physical insight. <clears throat> but today I'm not going to talk about that aspect because it is too much technical. So I'm going to talk about his life and uh, there will be few good lessons that you can take away from him. See, we have always a tendency to think in that way that if we are taught by world's best teacher, if we get world's best uh, infrastructure and accommodation, and all other amenities probably we can become successful and we can cruise through the uh, through the barrier of science but it's not simple example uh, during the university days Bernard Riemann was uh, admitted to Gottingen you know and Gottingen in those days was very famous because the prince of mathematics that is none other than Carl Frederick Gauss he was teaching there right and by that time, that time Gauss was very old, I think around 70 year old and Gauss has never taken any interest. He did not have any interest in teaching. Only in the old age when uh, meritorious students started pouring into Gottingen, uh, that time he started enjoying that teaching. But he was not uh, liking the teaching very much. And this fellow, Bernard Riemann, although he had chosen to study theology but because of his deep interest in mathematics he started attending his lecture and what surprisingly Riemann did not find Gauss's lecture very much interesting you know they are unspectacular in his language so what Riemann did he changed from Gottingen to University of Berlin now when he went to Berlin there he met three fellow three professors Two of them were legend and they are known widely in the world periphery. One is Carl Jacobi and the other one is um, uh, Legion Trichillet. Uh, both these names you will encounter when you will go to the engineering mathematics spot in your BTEC days. Third person was the most significant person and this is the person about whom generally we don't know. And these are the kind of people who often made the most significant contribution into the student life that latter stage it just erupts like a volcano right the third person was Gotthold Eisenstein right yes you heard it correct it's not Einstein he was Eisenstein right and he was merely three years older than um, Riemann extraordinary person legendary intellectuality and this person made a huge impact on the mind of Riemann right Unfortunately, this greatest mathematician who could have been Mr. Eisenstein, he died a premature death at the age of 29 because of tuberculosis. Uh, but not because of tuberculosis, because of its uh, revolutionary attitude. He was arrested by the Prussian army. He was tortured in jail. So only at the age of 29, this fellow died. But he made enough foundation so that the world could see the glamour, the quotient, the nuances of a legendary mathematician in Riemann. And the ironical, fateful thing is that exactly 10 years after that, after the demise of uh, Eisenstein, Bernard Riemann at the age of 39 also died, right? So my point is, if you have to study science, if you have to make a stride in science, if you, if you love this subject so passionately, it's not every time that world's best book or world's best teacher or world's best infrastructure will give you the push. You know, you have to fix, you have to find these Eisenstein throughout your career who can make the productive contribution in your life 
and you just simply cruise through right rather i should always you know i keep on telling this thing to my two student that it is better to find that eisenstein within yourself you are the best eisenstein for yourself